So you're tuned in high 12. Um, is the pressure off for you guys? Do you feel like there's pressure there still, or do you feel like it's off and you can just be, be who you are? We've never really put any pressure on ourselves. I mean, I, I think we've approached uh, the season the same every year. I know last year was, different, was a little different because it was our, you know, we had to go into the Pac-12 as our inaugural season, but uh, the, the truth is we, we don't change any, any way that we prepare. It's, it's always the same, and that's good. Huge credit to Coach Whittingham. He's been here for a long time, so we just followed his lead and just kept, uh, kept pretty much going with what we've done. So I can't say that there's a lot of pressure other than what we just do what we do. And, and uh, you know, we just got to get some guys some experience. And it just changes. One year it's the DBs, the corners. One year it's the, you know, the front of the, the linebacker. So just adjust accordingly. But I, I like the, the guys that we have right now. I feel like it's almost like a little bit more of an insurance policy, though, to have that proven depth and that proven talent there. Yeah, definitely, and then I think that, uh, I mean, I'd rather have talent than not, you know, so uh, we we have a lot of guys to work with, and I'm really, I've been really, really happy with their progress so far, but, uh, you know, our guys, are they've done well in the summer preparation, you know, getting ready for this. Uh, a lot of our guys actually got faster, and, uh, and I, you see that on the field, so uh, they're competing right now, but, you know, having having a lot of talent, you know, I'm never going to complain about that. I've been really impressed with the uh, with the defensive front. Uh, they've done really well, but, you know, they still have a long ways to go, plus we haven't really tackled uh, all that much. It's been just, you know, just, uh, you know, our shoulder pads and helmets. So, uh, but you can do a lot of a lot of hitting and a lot of stuff that you do with the shoulder pads and helmets that you don't do. You know, when you don't have the like, shoulder pads on, but uh, it's pretty much live for the guys up front. And, uh, I've been really impressed with them, and I can't, you know, like I said, I think having Eric Rowe in those corners on, on, the, on, the, on the edge has been a huge, huge plus for us, so uh, things are going really well. I think those, that whole group, I think everyone's doing about as good as we thought they would be doing right about now. I think we have great recruiters on this staff, you know, I, I think this staff is, is awesome, and, and uh, uh, I think they do a great job, and so getting out there and getting the right players, we, I think they, they've always done that now, being able to give up a relationship with them and, and have it go to the end and be able to battle some people out. It's been really helpful going to the Pac-12, and that's that's always been a big plus for us. And we saw it when they announced it, you know, a couple of years ago. And so we're we're reaping the benefits definitely. And I think there's guys on this field that you probably wouldn't see if, if we weren't in, in in this conference. And that's awesome for us, you know. As long as we keep getting better and keep getting the right guys, and uh, you know, it's a little bit different here than, than a lot of other places in the conference. But uh, you know, we have a lot to offer. We play, uh, I think, great football. And, and uh, we'll take the guys that want to be here. So well, I'm excited about the guys that we have and the guys that, that uh, are really interested in our program. I mean, can really tell there's um, a very deep bond that you guys, not only as a coaching staff, share, but as the players. Uh, How have you guys created that here? Well, I think it, it starts from the top. I think Coach Whittingham's done a great job being uh, facilitating that with the staff. And I think uh, you know, this we have really good guys on our staff. And that, not just our, our, our full-time coaches, but our support staff. And, and uh, you know, the guys that work work in the administration. So uh, when when the players see the, the coaches and, and the staff getting along really well and actually being like good friends, you know, and, and building relationships of trust, they they buy in a lot easier. And you see, uh, you know, everyone here on the staff is loyal to Coach Whittingham, and uh, and we all have one one thing in, in you know in our minds that's winning games. And so, uh, you know, we have great friends on the staff. I, I know that you know myself and. Coaches on the staff, I mean, I, I, they're basically like like family to me. They're like brothers to me. And so, um, having that 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 love and that bond on the, on the staff is huge because it, it, it filters out to the players. And, and uh, you know, we, we also become closer because we come close to them as well. So, uh, it's a it's a big family here. And some people in recruiting don't like that, and that's fine. But the guys that we have, they add to our family, and we're excited about about the, the family that we have right now and the staff that helps lead it. You're gonna always have to see uh, uh, our corners against the receivers. I think that's gonna be a huge. You know, we play a different style of football. That's, uh, that's a, that we put a lot on the corners plate. So um, that's just that's why we recruit them here. That's why we got the guys that we have now, and that's why we signed the guys that we just signed in this last class. So uh, yeah, we have really capable guys, and uh, you know we're going against in this conference. You see great talent at receiver, and specifically quarterback that can get the ball there. So uh, I think if you're a fan following the game, you probably want to check that out and, and um, know that you know we're going to load the box and take away the run and. We leave those guys out by themselves, and, and hopefully Eric Rowe will track it down, and like Rojo did back in the day, and, and uh, we'll see if we, if we got that. But I'm really excited about Eric Rowe as our free safety. I'm really excited about Lacey and Mo Lee, and we have a lot of other guys that, that are in the mix as well, and I've seen a lot of progress with the younger guys, so uh, it's exciting.
I think there's a lot that goes into it. I, you know, Mo Lee was an offensive guy. Sean Smith was an offensive guy. RJ Stanford was an offensive guy. So a lot of the guys that we have uh, have really good footwork. We, we watch what they can do with the ball in their hands. And, and uh, they're, they're, they're really confident. You know, you, you those corners, it's hard. You get beat one play, and you have to come back and stop them. You, can't, you don't have any time to take a break or even feel sorry for yourself. So you have to be mentally strong. And then we ask a lot from them physically, you know, just to just to be able to to make tackles and you know hit those big quarter uh, those big receivers, you know. And so and we blitz them a lot too. So they have to have the total package, and, and there's not really a height requirement or anything like that. But you just got to have speed. And so uh, I can say our guys all have speed. I think if it's going to be the strongest defensive unit, you got to you got to dictate on runs. I hate stats, other than the. Uh, uh, other than the run game and, and, and wins. So if we can win win games, if you look at the win-loss record and it's in our favor and, you, and the fans really like it, then, then that was a great defense. I think if you look at 2008, 2004, those are the great defenses. And, and uh, I, I really don't care about the stats other than the run game. You know, So wins and the run game is the most important thing to us, and we'll see what we can do.